What's the crack, YouTubers? I'm just doing a video here talking about converting and sort of scratch building and sorts. As you can see, I have my Blood Axe knob, the Wah Banner knob that I've been working on. I'm just putting the finishing touches on them. I have a piece of uh, material here that I'm using as a filter. As you can see, I sort of, it's a mask. Like, yeah, I think this is off a of Warhammer Fantasy Orc set. I don't know. Over the years, I pick up bits and pieces. So basically, it's a kit bash of a standard knob kit with a black orc banner pole uh, with the head on top. And then, as you can see, I've fabricated using plastic card and plastic card sort of and styrene rod. I've made rivets for the banner itself and then for the tubes i've used a, a green stuff tube maker which is basically a, a tool for just creating this texture on green stuff um yeah so you just make it it's a tube maker you can buy it from the likes of green stuff world and other producers so it's it's pretty straightforward and easy this is just made up of tube styrene tube of two different sizes so that's one end and i just capped the end on it I cap the end over here and then I have this piece of material which is off of an old CD carry case so it's, it's material on one side and then it has this sort of nice uh, plastic sort of texture on the other side and literally that's the last stage I have here is to cut this piece back and then I'll have a little sort of ring of styrene which is off of a styrene tube and then I'll trim that back and then that'll fit in there. And that's going to be the filter for his sort of backpack respirator. Because I want to make one for each clan. So this is my Blood Axe one, which will be in my army. I'm in the process of making another one. Which I will be showing on a, a quick sort of how to build video. Because I want to show you guys how easy it is to do this kind of stuff. And... That's what I want to talk about in this video is why me personally, I, I have a sort of a fear of ruining things. So I'm very hesitant to try and be creative with orcs, which is a pity because quite a lot of you guys have said you want to see conversions. And as you can understand, some of the models are very expensive for what they are, like mega knobs and stuff. And you just don't want to, you don't want to ruin them. You don't want to waste them. It's not a cheap hobby. And another part of that is that I'm my own worst critic. I'm never quite happy with how things work out. But I'm actually quite surprised at how well the, um, the Blood Axe symbol came out of here. I just came up with a, I had a rough idea, a concept. I like to sketch things out. I like to sketch them out on the plastic card. So I'll have like, that's why I keep my pencil handy and stuff. I'll come up and you can just roughly sketch it out. And then just have a blade and, and cut things out. It's it's literally just about getting the first step done. Just just get going, like make mistakes, get cracking. And it just slowly comes together. It, it was the same when I was a kid and I was playing with Lego. I never initially had, I had a rough idea of what I was trying to build. And then I just sort of rolled with it and developed it. Like I'm not happy 100% with the connections of the tubes going into the pipe work. I wanted this to be more of a right angle sort of coming out here and being cut at a right angle. But all in all, I have to say I'm 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 pretty happy with the way it's turned out. Originally I was gonna do this tube coming up over the back as well, but there wasn't enough space over here and I had this side bit coming out. Originally I was thinking that was gonna be a vent. But I just sort of rolled with it. You know what I mean? It's I suppose it's like doing a painting or something. You'll have a, a rough idea or anything creative. You'll have a rough idea, a concept of what, he, what you wanted to do. So this, I think I bought this miniature off of someone else and it was a knob with it. I think it had like an evil sun symbol here. It was a knob with an evil sun symbol and it had this on the back. But I, so I, I, I moved things around. I, I, as soon as I saw this mask, it had tusks here. There's originally there's tusks there and there. And as soon as I saw that, I was thinking to myself, blood axe, and I was thinking respirator, rebreather. So straight away, sort of, that's that's the concept I was going with. That was the idea I had in my head. I knew I wanted 
the blood axe symbol for the banner. If I get the blade out of the way, I knew I wanted the blood axe symbol for the banner, and I knew I wanted to do some sort of tubing to go back into a respirator of sorts. But uh, you know, this this all just developed as I went along. I was like, oh, okay. Well, what sort of rebreeder do I want to do? And as you can tell, since it's not, it's still not finished. I'm waiting for the super glue to dry on this, and then I'm gonna trim that back. And like I said, I have a ring here, so that'll sit over there once that's trimmed back. And I just wanted a piece of material. I did try to do a grill, but it just wasn't working out, and I wasn't happy with the results I was coming up with. So I have this uh, material here to sort of represent the the filter or sort of rebreather that it is. So I just wanted to show just before it's one hundred percent complete, and I just wanted to talk through the process of how I developed the concept for the miniature and I, I wanted to show you in greater detail and actually in focus for once just what the miniature looks like and my rough ideas of, of what I came up with so like I said I just got a miniature that was kit bashed sort of already this is a knob arm and the banner is from the Black Orcs I think it is this is from Fantasy so this is a second hand miniature I bought that somebody had pack this uh the arm up to get it to fit in and then from that i just went i rolled with it and decided to put my own twist onto it and it's it's sort of and i'm enjoying it i'm really enjoying it i was initially sort of fearful that i might ruin it especially when i was cutting back the evil sun symbol that was here i think there's like a plastic evil sun head that goes there or face and i just i decided it wanted i wanted to go with blood axe so that's it really i just wanted to talk about my apprehension with converting things but if you just get over that initial fear if you just take those first couple of steps and you just persevere with it and develop it as you go along now different people have different approaches some people need to sit down and draw things out whereas i just sort of make for bigger projects yeah i think i'd have to draw things out but i had a rough idea visually of what i wanted because I, I sort of think in images so I had this visual image of the respirator at the front and I had that visual image for those axes for the symbol. And this bit in the back, I just sort of rolled with the blows. And as you can see, it's still developing up. The pistol and the blade at the back, they sort of fit in nicely there. All in all, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy with how it's going. Like I said, it's not 100% done. I just wanted to show you, you can use any old bits and pieces. You don't have to be using expensive styrene like this stuff this sheet styrene here was cheap ebay purchase whereas the rod is evergreen stuff that i've purchased as i've gone along i bought different rods and tubes and stuff so there we are guys that's it that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about not being fearful of taking your first few steps and just persevere soldier on you'll get there in the end i'm very happy with how this has come out it, I'm not 100% happy with everything on it, but overall, I have to say, it's it's okay. The only thing I'm not really happy about are these connections here, the tubes going into the pipes for the respirators. The mask is okay. Um, but like I said, I'm my own worst critic, and I just wanted to share my thoughts and what stopped me from being proactive with the hobby conversion-wise, that, that fear of ruining models. And I just wanted to say that there's no need to be afraid of it, guys. You know, just take those first couple of steps. Make happy mistakes, you know what I mean? Just just go with it. Worst case scenario, you know, you decide you don't like this blood axe symbol, you can always cut this back. You can always cut it back and start again, and you can always fabricate something to cover your mistakes. Yeah, like, I'm not happy with the material here, but I could always stick a panel. Like, I got a bit of glue there, but I can always just sort of stick sort of a panel or maybe like a switch, a little square with a couple of buttons or something like that. But I don't think I really need to because I'm going to rust the absolute hell out of this. And I've based them. I've put them on a 32mm base. I do that with my knobs. I think they look awesome in them. That's a bit of slate just glued there. I just primed the base just to sort of finish sealing it off. And We'll throw up a video of this guy once I start putting him in a Blood Axe Colors. So there you are, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you're not subscribed already and you would like to see more plastic card work and custom builds, if you're into that for orcs, this is what I'm going to be doing now. I have another project literally just off camera 
for uh, the Badmion clan. It's going to be another uh, knob with a with a banner for the Badmions, and I'm going to do one for each clan. So I'm going to do a sort of a custom cut, bash, and build for each clan, and then I'm going to do a painting video of how I'm going to paint up each of those clans. So it, it, there's something for everyone. You're going to see at least one custom model for each of the clans. I might even do free builders as well, just for the laugh. And I'm going to do up a, a painting sort of video or tutorial of sorts, showing you how I paint them up. And there's no specifically right or wrong way to paint them up, but I just wanted to share with you guys my ideas, conversion-wise, and just, you know, don't be afraid. Take those first few steps, and you'll be pleasantly surprised, like I am here. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this miniature. Like I said, I have the last bit to go on there. And now I'm just rambling on. So if you're not subscribed already and you want to see more of this type of content, please subscribe. Hit the like button and then throw in some comments of things that you like or don't like and on what you want to see, what conversions you like me you'd like to see, any models in particular you'd like me to have a crack at. Because I'm still I've still haven't quite dabbled as much as I'd like to. Like I haven't built a scratch build mega knob or anything like that. So I I just wanted to, to shout out with you guys. Enjoy the rest of your October. And I'll catch us again in the next video. Take it easy. Thanks.